Yes, I've jumped on the monthly goodie box bandwagon. Now in recent times, these monthly goodie boxes have become all the rage for our YouTube unboxing peoples. And uh, quite a few uh, companies have been making them now. Uh, this one, the Z-Box, and it is called a Z-Box because I actually uh, asked their PR company uh, if it's pronounced correctly. Uh, this one is supplied by Zavi. Uh, if you don't know who Zavi are, they are a uh, mail order company owned by the Hutt. They're really, really good at sort of cheap Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff like that. Anyhow, uh, they started making these and uh, they are going for uh, really high quality ones. Uh, a couple of months ago, they done an absolutely fantastic one on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and they got the, like, the super limited edition steelbook Blu-ray set with it that's like highly sought out and goes for silly amounts of money on eBay now. But this month, uh, they are going for the Retro Z-Box, uh, full of retro goodiness. Uh, so that really intrigued me, so I had to go get one. Anyhow, without further ado of boring you any further looking at a black box, let's have a look what's inside. Uh, I don't know actually because I've actually kept this a surprise myself so I'm going to be opening it backwards as well so this is a surprise for me. Uh, so here you go. Ooh. Okay, first of all we have got some ghost pixel bricks. So uh, it's sort of like a, a sort of Lego thing but they're all sort of... Uh... Yes, it's a sort of bit like Lego except in the shape of a Pac-Man ghost. Uh, that's quite interesting actually, I wasn't expecting that so that's going to be going on there. Oh, next thing up is, oh, some flumes, some candy flumes. These are sort of marsh, these are air uh, injected marshmallow things, I believe. So that's not bad. Okay, that's nice and squishy. So that's something I should be looking forward to noshing on later on. Uh, next thing up is uh, Sonic the Hedgehog socks. Quite different. I wonder if they're in my size. They're one size. Uh, go up to 6 to 11, oh, I'm 14 actually, so, let's, uh, so, yeah, so we'll have a look at them uh, sometime, I'll try to put them on in a little bit, so that's some of the Hedgehog socks you get with it, uh, they are doing, yeah, this is a nice big thing for me, um, I knew this was coming already, because uh, one of the deals is you have to ask what, so well, you tell them what size your t-shirt size is, and uh, I have got this one, Unfortunately, well, I can't read it because I've got the, my back to it. So let's have a look. What does it say? Joystick Junkies Arcade Machine Repairs Maintenance and Reserves. So that's quite a nice T-shirt. That's very nice, actually. Nice white one. Oh, does it look? Does it look good on me? Does it? Does it look lovely? Anyhow, yeah, that's that's quite nice. Though. It's, it's a nice quality T-shirt as well. It's nice thick cotton as well because sometimes you get like fobbed off with really sort of thin cheapo ones but yeah it's quite a nice quality t-shirt that is I feel it yes uh that's gonna be going there uh what else oh it's a big thing it's oh no it's not some more stuff afterwards so i do apologize okay you have got a mega drive console notebook that's awesome that is really good and it's even got the old uh the uh, air vents on the back of the box as well so yes that is the Mega Drive, or Genesis, if you're in America, or Canada, or imported it from America. Anyway, yes, that's really nice. So yes, it's a nice notebook. I shall look for, I shall have a look at it, actually. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I know it's gonna be blank paper, but I've always, it's always good, uh, good having a, uh, a notebook handy, because I'm always writing stuff down and then sort of forgetting it, jotting down ideas for comedy sketches and stuff that I'll never use. But uh, there you go, that's the book in its glory. And uh, nice white lines uh, with Mega Drive written on the bottom. Isn't that fun? So yeah, that is the Mega Drive notebook. That's really nice, I is quite impressed. And uh, ooh, at the bottom, I won't go for that next. Uh, I have got a full game download of Tango Fiesta. Ooh. What is this? Is this what's this for? This is for Steam. This is a Steam code for that. So that's quite good. I have uh, not heard of that game before, so I shall have a quick look at that at some time in the future. I don't know why I'm going to put my finger over it because I'm going to. Uh, why do people do that? Why do people do that? They put their finger over it. Oh, I don't want you seeing the code. You might enter it. Well, enter the bloody code before you put the video up, you idiot. It's not that bloody hard. But there you go. That's a copy of Tango Fiesta with a nine pounds ninety nine value. Ooh. 
And uh, last, no, it's not. There's some more stuff. Or oh, there is a uh, bono. There's a Lemmings uh, door handle. Ooh, that's quite nice. That's why I solely let anyone do anything with Lemmings because they're being right tight lately. They like, uh, even pulled down some sort of. Uh, they want to bring it out on the uh, iOS and Android special touchpad Lemmings because that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Lemmings on the old iPad and stuff like that, tapping them and stuff. Don't release it. Well done, Sony. But you cut your own nose off to spite your face, eh? Anyhow, enough of these uh, political rants. Yes, oh no, entry. And the other side has says, level complete, enter. And it's uh, it's not cardboard, it's actually uh, plastic. Quite nice, thick plastic as well. So that's quite nice. Uh, and this is a retro thing, so not many... If you don't know what Lemmings is, you know, go play, go download an emulation or something of it. Because... Uh, it's, you can get it on the like the PS. Uh, I mean, it PS4. You can get it on the Vita anyway because it's like a free code now. Anyhow, blathering on. And last but not least is the retro magazine. Isn't that nice? Oh, and an advert for pop vinyl figures because you can't have one of these bloody thingy boxes without some sort of pop vinyl thing included. There you go. Uh, let's have a look what's inside. It's uh, various. Things. Uh, actually, let's have a look at the box. Actually, uh, it's Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, a lemming, and a Pac-Man ghost. This is the unauthorized version of uh, Smash Brothers. This is, and at the bottom it says, "Hello, you found my shop of strange and wonderful things." Okay, I don't know what that is a reference to. Actually, even though I'll bloody present a retro gaming television show for years. I didn't even know what that means. So I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's have a look at the book. This is all you're here for. You want to know what a booklet looks like. Because that's the highlight of the videos, isn't it? Looking at the book. Uh, uh, features. So I'm going to have to read this backwards. Luckily I'm left handed so I can read stupidly. Uh, some of the things. Uh, Resident Evil stuff. Uh, that's about the game. The, uh, that. Tango Fiesta. Uh, some more. Oh, it's a top down shooter. There's a surprise. Not had that many of them on Steam before. Uh, there you go. Some more stuff. I'm going to go through this. There you go. Look, there's a Pac Man uh, Bixel thing. I think I'd have liked the Pac Man itself rather than the Ghost. But there you go. That's going to look nice. Anyway, there's a Pac There's a Sonic Socks. Oh, and it comes with different boxes as well. Look, you're different. Uh, Notebooks as well. Then you can have a Game Gear, a Dreamcast, and a Saturn. No Master System, probably because it's too long. Then again, they got the Game Gear, and that's nice and long. I think I got the best one out of lot. I would have been that's the Mega Drive wouldn't be the most happiest because that's probably my favourite Sega console. Well, I really like the Master System as well, but that's because I grew up with one. But I, I like the Mega Drive, so I'm happy. I got the Mega Drive one out of that. Uh, some pictures of uh, Sensible Soccer and Pac Man. Outrun and Paperboy. Now some more talking about things. Okay, some pictures more. Space Invaders, Monkey Island, Mario Kart, a Tetris crossword puzzle. No, no, Tetris word search. Mario versus Sonic stats. Uh, some pictures of Dig Dug, Last Ninja, uh, I Robot, I believe, and Castlevania. And some consoles, some really old consoles. There you go. I know what they are, but this all, it's already written down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. There you go. And some uh, customized controllers, which makes people laugh at you when you've got a really stupid design on yours. And yeah, there you go. And uh, the next month is animation. So that's either He-Man or that's Lionel actually at the end. So there you go. And the pop vinyl things, because you have to put pop vinyls and everything. Actually, I'm very surprised this doesn't come with a pop vinyl thing. I don't actually own any. Mainly because I don't like them. There you go. Uh, but that is the Z-Box uh, Retro Edition. Uh, if you'd like to get one, they are still available on uh, Zavi's website. Uh, I shall put a link in the description if you'd like to get one. But thank you very much for watching. I have been Google... Uh, uh, I have been Guru Larry. Goodbye and good retro gaming. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button below and be first to see future gaming videos and reviews such as this. And why not check out some of my other recent reviews below? But thanks for watching, peoples!